Is this what separation anxiety dog owners been waiting for? Especially those that don't want to use medications. I'm Dr. Ryan, a veterinarian and a veterinary behavior residency graduate. In this video, I'm going to show you a revolutionary invention, maybe, that can treat your dog's separation anxiety without the use of medication or even behavior modification. Just so you know, nobody is paying me to make this video. And everything that I know and everything that I think about the study behind this invention, I'm gonna share with you the good and the bad. Let's talk science for a second. Don't worry, it's not gonna be something complicated. The best type of studies are the randomized placebo control prospective studies. And if they are double-blinded, the best. What does it mean? It means that neither the dog owners nor the researchers who are actually going over the data that's collected don't know who is using the actual product and who is using a sham product. So the sham product can basically look exactly the same, but not actually have the mechanism inside that will allow it to work. Just so happened to be that the study done on this item is exactly that. So there's the study called Randomized Placebo Control Prospective Clinical Trial Evaluating the Efficacy of the Assisi Anti-Anxiety Device, Colmer Canine, for the Treatment of Canine Separation Anxiety by Dr. Pankratz et al. And it was published about a year ago on December 2021 and in a peer-reviewed journal, meaning that other people actually read the paper before it was published and made sure it was done correctly. So this device emits a targeted pulsed electromagnetic field. The emitted field is supposed to change how the brain works. Let me read you a little bit from the study about this field. Targeted PEMF, the pulsed electromagnetic field, has a long history of use for treatment of non-union fractures, meaning bone fractures that don't heal, wound healing, edema, post-operative, and osteoarthritic pain in humans and animals. If you want to learn more details about how exactly this device works, go ahead and read the full paper. I'm gonna link it below in the description of this video. But I will say that it's safe. It shouldn't cause any issues. And even in this paper, they didn't really see any side effects that were related to the device. The researchers had two groups of dogs. Those dogs were diagnosed with separation anxiety that was moderate to severe. Of course, there were two groups, one group with the actual device that was working and one with the sham device. The owners were asked to use the device for 15 minutes and it does it automatically. You turn it on and after 15 minutes, it shuts down by itself. They were asked to do it twice a day for six weeks. Video recordings of the dogs alone and a questionnaire were made on baseline before the study started and on week four and week six. And then they compared the results from point zero when they started the study to point four and six weeks. And of course, between the two different groups. What they found was that the owners were sure in both groups that there was improvement. When looking at the questionnaires that the owners filled out, they didn't really see any difference between the sham group and the actual device group. But when they looked at the video recordings, they saw that the dogs in the Colmer canine group improved a lot more than the dogs in the sham group. And the results were significant. Now you might be wondering how come the owners didn't actually see any difference. Well, because when we're talking about separation anxiety, many of the owners don't really know what's going on with their pet when they're not there. They might be hearing the dog whining when they're leaving and might be hearing the dog whining when they're coming back and thinking, mm, nothing changed. But when you actually watch the video and you see that maybe the dog was whining for an hour at the beginning, but after the treatment, the dog is only whining for five minutes and then go to bed, that's a big difference. And by the way, that's why I always tell the owners to video record the dog when he's alone and even make a journal to see if the treatment that I'm giving them 
is improving their behavior or not doing anything. Now, you should understand that this study is the only study we have on this machine in dogs, and it's far from perfect. For example, dogs were allowed to also be on anti-anxiety medications during the study, but only dogs that were on the medication for at least a month and were still showing severe signs of separation anxiety were included. So technically the belief was that if they're already a month on the medication and they're still pretty bad, then it's probably not gonna help them that much. But I disagree, because some dogs might take longer to actually have the effect of the medication. And a big problem in this study was that after they unblinded the study, they actually saw that many more dogs were on medications in the group that had been the one that used the calming care. Of course, not all of them, but it's kind of hard to say 100% sure if the calming care had its own effect or maybe it's a synergism, like maybe both things work together to complete each other. But from personal experience, I know many dog owners that actually say that this Device helped a lot even without using medications. That's of course not real science, but it's something. So if you want to go and purchase it, and I'll put a link to that as well, just know that it's not 100%. Of course, even medications don't always work. The recommendation is to use it twice a day. Each time 15 minutes, you'll turn on the device by clicking the button and then it's gonna run for 15 minutes for about six weeks, and then you'll see the results. You can either hold it close to the dog's head with your hand, or you can use the vest that comes with the box. It does come in different sizes, so according to your dog's weight and size of his chest, you'll have to choose the right size for him. Using the vest, of course, makes it a lot easier because you just use this Velcro to attach it to the vest, turn it on, and forget about it. But it still needs to be done under supervision. You can put it on your dog and just go somewhere else. So what in the box? What in the box? What's in the box? In the box you get the device itself, you get the vest, and you get a user manual that shows you everything that you need to know on how to use it and what to expect. I personally believe that this device is definitely worth a try, especially for those that don't wanna use psychoactive medications. But if your dog is not getting better with this device, if your dog is not responding to behavior modification and to the environmental management, then you might need to use medications. And using medications is not a bad thing. Like in people, if the dog needs it, then the dog needs it. You want to learn more about one of these medications that is even approved by the FDA for separation anxiety in dogs? check out this video.